Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we have some rain out here. We're about to go get our um, primer. Pick up the primer so we can go ahead and prime that Fiero. But first we need a couple more materials other than the primer there so we can go ahead and uh, finish that Nissan, get it out of there. Yes, the Nissan's still in the garage. Uh, but we're about to get it out. And uh, yeah, we're about to head out. It is 10.31, my GPS says, and I need to adjust that time, because it's, it's, time is there, let me check. No, no, it is 10.30. It's actually 10.30, not 10.32, but, you know, we kind of wake up late this morning. So the rain, I get so sleepy when there's rain, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the primer, um, and then uh, get a couple other things, like clear coat, and I think we need, I think that's it, some strainers, some sticks. And that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and get that on, and uh, yeah, get back here, finish that Nissan, get it out of there, and start priming that Fiero so we can get to that base coat. Let's go! Bam, guys, we're gonna get an update here in the Beamer, see what's going on with the suspension. Casting has been replaced. Let's go look at it, see what they got on. <laughs> Le tuve que quitar los asientos. Sí. Le gas. Si ¿Sí están buenas las pompas de gasolina. Our primer ready to go yes yes for this Fiero here we're gonna go ahead and knock this doors out that's all we got left guys just a couple hits on these doors knock them out a little body work paint it get everything cleared out and start priming this bad boy we're gonna go ahead and prime this whole thing and then you know what we're keeping black we're keeping red let's go Get to it.
All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, put some body filler on this, uh, make it all smooth. Uh, we probably wouldn't even need body filler. Is this not needable? So, haha, -ha, yes, we're going to be using our finished pudding. Uh, no need to body fill this one out. This one's pretty smooth and nice. Um, ready to go. So, I'm going to, whoa, I'm going to put some pudding and then get back with you guys once I lay that out. And uh, stud wells. Like we've seen there before, and uh, we'll get this one ready for the hammer. Oh, ooh. All right, guys. So we got uh, put it, put it, uh, put it up in there. Uh, you hit here. Uh, we did double the thing, and then we did some little spots down there. Good. missing a little over there too not too biggie but this here you gotta take all this tape off wow my hands are tired already of block sanding oh lordy it's like this tape. Is that tape or i don't know we gotta take this tape off and uh, we're gonna see if we can either plastic weld this together or put it together and then put some bondo up in here some fiberglass instead of bundle. Oh man, this is hard. Oh, Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that together somehow and then um, put uh, some fiberglass or melt the plastic together and then some body filler on top of it. Something like that. Alright, I'll be back with you guys once we figure out what we're doing with this lid. Alright, guys, so we end up. we don't need we melt it with the heat gun until it's like almost like bendable and stretchy and then with the solder tool we'll split it out and that's exactly what we did here we blend it into the bumper split it around make sure we get the crevices and now it's the go now we gotta sand it with 80 grit in as much as possible put some body filler on top of that uh, again with 80 grit make it all smooth and we got a fix weld secured friend lip fixed let's go all right now we're gonna hit it with the 80 grit this is all dry <laughs> Let me go ahead and hit this whole thing. I'll get right back with you guys. 
All right, guys, it's all cured up. Uh, well, it's all sanded, the plastic. We went ahead and put some body filler up in there. So we're gonna let that cure overnight. And now we're just gonna go ahead and hit that with the 80 grid and hit that with the 320 and we're done for the day. The day has gone. Oh, and I am tired, I am beat, uh, but yeah. Tomorrow will be another day. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done, sanded, out of the way. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Boom. Come on. All right, good morning. Welcome back to another day. Yes, yes. So today we're just gonna go ahead and sand this. Like I said, 320 right here. Uh, we're down to 320 right there. And uh, still 80 grit on the front bumper because we were letting it dry overnight. And then we'll go ahead and do 330, uh, 320 after that, 320, 320. And we'll throw in the primer, let the primer set out here on the sun for uh, four hours or so. Come back, wet sand, and paint. That's the mission for the day. So we can have this bad boy ready to sell on Monday. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get this situated and done. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I went ahead and mixed a little bit of uh, putting there uh, to put on this front uh, lip. So it looks a little more smoother after sanding it. I did have a little pinholes and stuff like that, but there you go. After that, 320, and we're going to be just fine. Uh, we already did this side here. Uh, it looks pretty good, ready for primer. The only thing that I'm going to have to go over with, uh, it's going to be a, like a 600 grid. Because look at all this. You can see all those scratches. That primer is not going to... Probably fill them up, not quite sure, but I am about to do the whole door and primer, so I'm going to have to do a, like 600 grit all around this so we can hide most of that and the primer can completely cover everything. That way we don't have no issues when it comes down to painting it and down there as well. So we can go ahead and reprime everything right here. Let me take that block off. Yeah, my wood block. Keep the doors open and firm so we can go ahead and sand it. That way we don't scratch quarter pan or stuff like that. All right. But yeah, that's about it right there. I'll go ahead and get back with you guys after primer or during primer. It depends if y'all want to see the process or not. I don't want to bore you so much on it. But yeah, we're going to get this Nissan out of here. This is going to be uh, 2015 Nissan Sentra. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get it done, get it finished. Got the battery, battery charging there. Um, so we can go ahead and start our project. Uh, can't, can't wait to get that Fiero situated, man. Oh, it's been a while and I really want to start a project on this channel. So we're going to go full send on this. All right, well, let's get this out of the way.
All right, guys, there it is. It is prime, ready to go. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, when you throw in primer, uh, there's going to be your body work on the bottom. You literally got to throw a primer, let the coat dry, and you're going to see with the light, uh, if you glance at it, you can see your body work. Uh, the primer is too thin. So keep going with primer layer, thin primer layers, until you can't see your body work anymore. Uh, right now, it's fully dry, and um, I wasn't able to see it with the light on it and stuff, so it covered all well. This will make your paint job pristine and not able to see like cat scratches, stuff like that. Um, that's why you go with uh, 80, 320, and 600, and it makes it all it makes all the difference. And then on this primer, since it's the last layer, you can either sand it, wet sand it with a thousand grid, or go over it with uh, water and 600 grid. Um, I always use water and 600 grid. It always works for me. Uh, they come out nicely. If it's something like a really, really expensive job, like pearl uh, color, stuff like that, I go over with 1,500 grit. That will give you the mirror finish uh, that you're looking for. So uh, at this moment, this one, uh, I don't see any body work or anything. I put the light towards it. Nothing there. Uh, I was able to cover it. It took me like six passes, I believe, of primer. Uh, but hey, it was thin coats, and that ensures me that it's drying and curing well. Because uh, I'm going to leave it out here in the sun for four hours. Uh, usually primer takes about 24 hours before you can actually do stuff with it. Uh, this one that I got is a fast uh, fast dry. So I'm going to try to get away with uh, four hours instead of uh, 12, I believe. Uh, the reason is thin coats, let them dry uh, for seven to eight minutes. And then move on to the next one and that will cure faster. And right now we're going to go ahead and take it to the shiny sun since we have sun out here. And that should speed up the process, and uh, we'll see. You can tell if it's dry, it's, it's dry. It'll, it'll start coming off easily with water. If it's not dry, uh, you start getting these chunks of gooey stuff on your, on your sandpaper. But yeah, let's go ahead and um, get it wrapped. Get all this. Look at this. Look at this. I just tape it down here. This is what's holding it down here.
all right guys so we let the primer dry more than usual there's the fuel out there it is dark nighttime we're gonna go ahead and knock this paint job out grease and wax remover real quick after the final uh sanding with the sponge or scuff as you guys call it a scuff uh this fender over here ready for paint as well we got the whole car cover we don't want no overspray and we got our lip down there as well ready to go it's already black so we got our inside quarter panels done too as you can see the whole inside of the door jams everything is done black already uh, we just got these doors that fender paint black and then throw a clear coat on there that one's done already we already scuffed the outside we got to finish painting the bottom and there we go let's go ahead and uh wipe it down and start spraying finished product here's a little peek there's a bump uh, we were right jump started because battery shot no good no bueno we need new one Semi open. Look at that front lip though. Eww, come on, good. All right, go ahead and pull it outside. By no means is super perfect for car show quality, but I'll tell you what, it is way better than when it came in. Let's go ahead and see on the sunlight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
always a little sketchy to get off the hump right there. I have to start building like a ramp or something. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look around here at this 2015 Nissan Sentra for the tomato plants. It's a little tomato. All right. Look beautiful. 